Okay. Make sure I'm in the right position. Okay, that's good. All right, today. One second. Okay. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a quilt sandwich using safety pins. You can also use a darning needle and some thread. And maybe a future day, I will um, show you how to make a quick sandwich using needle and thread. But today I'm using safety pins. It, it's supposed to be the smaller safety pins, maybe the number ones. Uh, you're not supposed to use the bigger safety pins because you don't want to put a hole in the fabric. Okay. A quilt cool sandwich consists of the top fabric that is pieced, the cotton batting in the middle, and the back and fabric on the back. For small items like pot holders, placements, table runs, or any other small items, uh, I like for the backing and batting to be about two inches longer than the top. Uh, on each side. For quilts, I like the batting and backing fabric to be uh, four or six inches longer uh, than the top fabric on all sides. I like to pin base about four inches apart. Could be less than four inches, but definitely cannot be uh, more than four inches. Once you have the quilt sandwich basic, then you either machine quilt or hand quilt. Follow me on all social media platforms. Uh, subscribe to both of my YouTube channels. If you're here, this channel is for quilting. I also have another uh, YouTube channel uh, that's for cooking, but I don't put too much on the cooking channel, just every now and then. But if you want to, just subscribe to both channels. So please subscribe, comment, share. You know the routine. So you can follow me on Instagram at Teresa Green underscore nine zero. That's T E R E S A G R E E N underscore nine zero. I'm on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook as Quilter Teresa Green. So if you search Quilter Teresa Green on Facebook, you will find me. Okay. So now that we can do all that, let's get down to business. So as I stated, a quilt sandwich consists of the back and fabric, which today this is the back and fabric. Okay. I don't know if you can see these little marks I've made. Um, this is how I mark the top of my squares, that little light orange or pink line that you see, so that I'll know. That that line, I mark it where it runs perpendicular to the cross grain. So whenever I cut my squares and I'm sewing my squares, that line is always at the top to denote where the to go parallel with the cross grain. So and then you can also see where I put a safety pin. So I always do that. So that I know where the middle of this, the backing fabric is, the middle of the cotton fabric is, the batting in the middle, cotton batting in the middle, and the, the middle of the top. So I lay it out. I'm trying to make sure you can see the pin.
Let me see if you all can see the pen in the video. Maybe I'll bring it up just a little bit more. Because I want you to see. You all should definitely be able to see that pen. I think that's it. Okay. So then what I do is I've already put a safety pin in the cotton bag. Okay. So what I'm going to do is line this safety pin or lay the, try my best to lay this safety pin on top of the safety pin in the backing fabric. So I find the middle and then just, so I hope you all can see where I pretty much lined them up. But if I was actually doing it, I would lay this pin on top of this pin. So then it would look like this, just a book. Then I will come back with, so there's the back and fabric on the top, the cotton band in the middle, and then the top, what you piece is, it goes on top of the back and fabric. Nope. The top goes on top of the cotton band. So then what I'm going to do is, I fold it in half like this. All right. Then you're going to have that part right here. And this is where I'm going to put the safety pin. So I get one of my number one pins. Like here. This is the number one. Some of my pins are curved, some of them are not. So then, I will put the, like, put it like, like right here. I'm going to put it on top of the seam, so I'm putting it on the side of the seam. Okay, then I'll come back and lay it just about two inches below that safety pin, right? And then that's the middle. What's the middle? For some reason, you are gonna have to excuse me because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to even it out to where it's about the same size all around. See, I got a little bit on this side, a little bit on this side, a little up here, and some at the bottom. So I hope you all can see that. Then I turn it over to make sure that that backing and that batting is going through, is, is past this top fabric. So let me get a, a stick pin and I'll show you how you can tell. Make sure you got some space down there. I can't see that pin, but that safety pin is right here. So I know that I have, this is about where my top end, I have some extra backing fabric, and I have some extra batting. So that's good. That's good. I can leave this. I don't have to reposition it. This is good enough. Okay. So then I would Straighten this out, make sure it's all straight. Then I will begin to pin base. So if I'm these squares are a finished size of one and a half inch, I cut two inch squares to make this. I have some more videos on this table run if you want to go back and watch them. So this is how I keep my pin store, and I had this problem here over 10 years. So. And I have my little bag back here with all my hoods and stuff, sewing stuff in. So first, you know, when you basting or sewing, quilting the quilt, 
like sewing all three layers together that you start from the middle. So this is 13 by 13. So I will find square number 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So then I would, and see when it's small like this, you can kind of put your hand under here and help the pen to go through, come up to the, coming up to the, to the top layer. And you just pin it, right? So I'm going to do every three, since it's, you're pinning, you're basting every four inches. So I'm going to say one, two, three. So then I put a pin. So there's one, two, three. I'm going to pin. Let's get back. Oh and then if you hear that, hear that needle hit that mat, then you know you made it all the way. Through and then you can just bring it up so you can bring it up the best you can or put your hands in there and help it come through. So then let's do one, two, three, and this one. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to be a superstar and pin every square you can, but the basically it's just a pin every four inches. You know, so one, two, three. So then uh, put a pin. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if you can hear it, but it made it to the box. So I'll just push it on through and straighten it out. Okay. So we got one, two, three. We got one, two, three. Then we're gonna go over here. All right. One, two, three. Yeah. I feel it. So you'll be able to feel it when it hits the that mat or the bottom. And you just bring it up and So we got this, we got this. So we got this cover, right? So from each one of these pins, I'm going to count three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm pinning. Okay, and I'll do that one. One, two, three. I'm pinning. Thank you. 
Okay. All right. Just make sure you can hear me. Making sure that you all can hear. Making sure that you all can hear. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you all hear it. Good job. Good job. Okay. So now you see I uh, got this. So then one, two, three. And this one. One, two, three. This one. Okay. And then we'll keep going. Okay. This one. All right. Just keep going three. So just watch me just keep going threes and I'll pin, I'll show you. Now we're just gonna finish it up. Let's see. Some of my pants are big. Some of them are not. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
This is a curl. That's not a straight one. You can put that one too. Like I use them both. I like the curl ones, but I think I have a pretty curl one. Got that one too. It was almost my finger. Play that in a bit. All right. Is that it? Oh, that seems to be it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. one this time. Okay. Two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. This one, this one. So you gotta go back and make sure you're not missing. Okay. And, and so if your blocks are bigger than this, then I mean, you're gonna, it's still gonna be the four inches. And you just, if it's four inch block, you know, just put a pin in the middle of each block. Six inches all like that. You're gonna have to get a ruler or something. Make sure you're uh, putting a four inches or less apart all the way throughout the clip. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the middle. Okay, make sure you uh, like, uh, subscribe to my channel, press the like button, make a comment, share my video. Uh, what else y'all need to do? Okay, this pen right here, I, uh, this pen is the top of my quilt top. So every every quilt top I make, I always mark the top of it with a safety pin. So I'm done. So that's how it looks. It's all quilt. It's all pin based. So next time I'll show you all how I quilt, and it should be it's pretty sturdy. I don't know how much y'all can see on the back, silver on silver, but. Thanks for watching. Well, I guess I need to take that pen all the way. Get that right there. Okay, so now this field up. So the two pins, two safety pins, that's the top of my foot top. There you go. Once again, pin based your quilt sandwich. Okay. And again, thanks for watching. So that's the beautiful top. And that's the back. Okay. Thanks for watching. I gotta do the take a picture that was a thumbnail. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, there we go. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Again, it's uh, subscribe to both of my quilted channels. Instagram, Teresa Green underscore nine zero. Facebook, Quilts of Teresa Green. Thank you. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you.